If you are looking for some tips and tricks and inspiration on how to save and organize your research into Evernote, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Jennifer Majors, and I'm part of the customer success team here with Julie and Giorgio today. We are so excited. We serve customers just like you all over the world. Julian, thank you for being here. Jennifer, thank you for having me. Carlos Irzate, Binaz Benit, Willkommen, and welcome. And I'm looking forward to this workflow today. Evernote is so dynamic. As you are seeing with these different workflows we're doing each week, there are so many different ways that you can use Evernote. Julian, can you explain to us why this particular workflow is important for us to learn? So as we all know, researching can be timely and hard to structure with traditional means. So today we're going to see how Evernote's Web Clipper can help us do it in half the time. I am super excited, but before we get started, two housekeeping items. Number one, we want to make sure that you are on the latest version of Evernote. So if you would go to evernote.com slash download, please go ahead and install the latest version so that you can see all of the features that Julian will be demonstrating today. The second thing is that Julian will be demonstrating from an Evernote business account. If you are not an Evernote business user, that's okay. Stick around because we know that you are still going to be inspired by some of these, uh, this workflow and the features that will be used today. So let's begin. Thank you, Jennifer. So let's get started with showing how we can research with the power of Evernote Web Clipper. I so here I am within the Evernote business account. I created a uh, space called Remote Teams Management because this is a topic that we need to research right now. And I've created a little structure here of different notebooks. And I numbered them to help me with uh, sorting them by alphabetical order. In this case, I've created a notebook about uh, remote team management called Research, where I'll be saving all of my research related to remote teams. So now that the structure is created, we can switch over to the browser. And let's say that uh, we found this article, which is of interest to us uh, for the research that we're doing. And... Um, the first thing we'll need is to open the Web Clipper. So if you don't have the Web Clipper, all you have to do is just type in Evernote Web Clipper in your browser and your default search engine will just find it. And uh, it's over here. And it also shows you how to install it. Is You're gonna get a browser specific installation. And you, also, you can also find this link in the description of this video. So once you uh, install it and log in for the first time, Oh, you, it's going to pop up in your uh, browser toolbar with a little Evernote icon. Once you click on it, you'll get uh, the Web Clipper interface. Now, it has two main parts, the clip format, which is how you want the article to look once you clip it within Evernote. I prefer this one, Simplified Article, because it strips out all the unnecessary advertisements. So you don't want any noise in your note. And then the organization part, which is telling Evernote where you want this to be saved in. And you can type in, for example, and find whatever you need, or you can find it from the drop down. There we go. You can add a tag over here if you need and any remarks you might want. And that will just show up as text at the bottom of the note. And when you're done, just hit save. Uh, and uh, now it's ready. If we switch over to Evernote, and we can just click over here if we don't want to switch over and then continue with the desktop app, which is my favorite way to work with Evernote. It's gonna pop up, it's gonna open it up within Evernote. Now let's have a look, full screen with the little button over there. And it's everything is here and it's editable. So we can delete stuff we don't need or we can add pictures, remove pictures. It has links as they were within the website, but most importantly, it also has the source, which can take us back to the original article, just with a click. All right, so now that we saw how to clip an article, I'm gonna show you how to structure this, because as we know, structuring our research is uh, a very big uh, difficulty at the moment. And uh, the way I do it, 
is that I've went ahead and created a table with a summary of the research. There's already some work that I've done over here. So just a normal table. I added some uh, rows and I colored them as well. Whoops, just the com command Z. No, didn't, don't want to delete it, but I love that you nope. can just bring it back very quickly. What was yes. that shortcut you did to bring it back? Uh, I'm on Mac, it's command Z. So on Windows, I'll be control Z. And uh, just happens very often when I delete something, just quickly go back to the original state. All right, so. Uh, now that I have it over here, I want to work in parallel. So uh, this is the article I just I freshly clipped. Right click on it or two finger click and uh, open in a new window. And if you're on Mac, you know that you can just click on that. And uh, if I do it right, there you go. You can just tile the window to the left of the screen and then open the other side of Evernote. And once you have that, you can go full screen. And as you write, as you go through it, I like putting at the very top, I like inserting a checkbox and call that skimmed through because I wanna know that I've actually read this article and finished with it so that I don't go over it once again or a colleague of mine that has to do the same job in the same notebook. So I just put that there at the top at the size of the font that I need. I want it a bit smaller. And as I go through it, for example, I read something here and I just put some pros and cons of remote work and the traditional work, depending on what I find over here. And when I'm done with it, I just tick that over there and I know that this has been finished. Now I can close this out. This is a guide to managing uh, your newly remote workers. I will do the same in a list that I can make. So. I want to make a list with sources, with all the sources that I've used so that I can have a quick overview, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is useful to save time. So to do that, all I have to do is select the first node at the top, go to the last one at the bottom. In this case, we're in the notes section. So it's showing all the notes of the account. So we can just go back to the space, open the research notebook, and then go back down to the bottom. And while holding the shift button on Mac or Windows, click on the last one, last node in the list. Then you can click on the more actions option over here, the three dots, copy the internal app links. And then what I do is that I create a new note. I call this note summary of sources. And then just by using command V on Mac or control V on Windows, I will just paste all of those links over there to the notes. And again, I'm a checkbox uh, freak. So I'm gonna do a checkbox again. And this is the one that I worked last. So I'm gonna tick it once more so that I know that it, myself and the team that I'm working with that this has been worked on and is ready to go. So they can continue working with the rest of the articles. Now, the reason it's green and looks like uh, underlined, it's because it's a link actually, an internal link that only works for people within the business account. Just by clicking on that, it will just open the note that you need. Now I know that uh, Matthew, uh, he also created some uh, research, but for some reason he, got, he did this in another notebook and I don't know where exactly it is, but I know that uh, uh, he created it and he, typed in, uh, he had it also a, a handwritten note that had the word company inside. So in this case, all I have to do to find it easily is type in his name and it's gonna show at the bottom. We have here Matthew. So I'm gonna add Matthew as a person as part of the search filters. Then I'm gonna type in the word company because I know he wrote the, uh, he had the handwritten company word. And over here you can see uh, that uh, the word company, which was written by hand, has been highlighted by Renault to show us, hey, there, this is where it is. So this is also very useful. If, uh, if some text is very hard to read, Evernote can still read it some, most of the times. All right. So yeah, Jennifer, what do you think? Is there something I, 
I love this. I web clipper is so awesome. I actually am starting to use it more and more on my phone because there are many times I'm looking up different articles and I can just easily save that into Evernote. So definitely on the mobile devices, this is great. I really love how you had the check boxes to say you read it because I'm also notorious for saving a lot of articles and then actually never getting to back to them, right? So that's really good, I think, to keep accountability. And then honestly, I really liked, and I've never done this myself, but how you just kind of have the two screens next to each other. So there are many times where we've got multiple screens open and just even that shortcut to like have the, the note-taking happening at the same time as you're reading something, I thought that was really valuable. So thank you so much for sharing this today. Absolutely. And for the Windows users out there, you can split your screen between left and right by using the Windows logo and the left arrow while you have the window open. And that's going to just pull all of your, your uh, the whole window on the left side of the screen. And then you can do the same for the right side. Awesome. Thank you so much, Julian. Julian, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Just to recap some of the features you went over, of course, Web Clipper is a huge one if you're doing research. You showed us how to do advanced, advanced search. You showed us internal note links, um, even searching for handwritten text. This was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. This was actually a, very, a lot of fun for me as well. And don't forget to everybody watching that you can always reach out to us directly at, by emailing us at customersuccess at evernote.com. And uh, if you want to see more of this content, what do they have to do, Jen, again? They need to give us a thumbs up. Please let us know if you want to see more of this. Also, don't forget to share uh, this video with the people that might like something like this. And uh, where can they find the articles uh, relating to the features we just talked about? Great question, Julian. All of the articles of the different features talked about today will be in the description box below. And since you're at it, feel free to also subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. That's right. If you love this content, please subscribe. We have more content planned for you. We are so excited you're here. Don't forget to install the latest version of Evernote. Um, that way you are going to see all of these features and more to come. Thanks again for joining us. Cheers to productivity.